That is like creepy. Is that is creepy. Oh, that's creepy. The B side word. There's a lot more. There's a lot. So this is like on this article. I I actually got this from an Instagram account. But essentially, what's happened here is um, there's. I think she's a nurse or a doctor or something, and she left her. Um, I think ten year old, eight year old, and another year old home while she was out and she has like these security cameras so she can check up on her kids all the time like through wi-fi mm. um however someone hacked into the cameras and started speaking to the kids through the cameras and stuff um and then they started like telling the kids that they were their best friend and i'm santa claus and then it was like maybe you should try and smash up your tv <gasps> like maybe you should and started trying to instruct the kids to do like weird things and then the kids are obviously very scared and were like, mommy, and that's all you really see in this article. But now they're trying to sue the company that made these um, devices, just saying it was too easy for it to be hacked. Oh, I think they should try to catch the guy that hacked it. My goodness. Well, that's going to be hard. That's going to be hard. <laughs> that hard. guy's creepy. That is creepy. Who the hell? Did they, wait, have they caught this guy? No. Not that anything indicates in any of the stuff I've read about it. I hope they catch the guy. Because he's like a future pedophile waiting to come. Oh, he could just be a creep. I don't know if he's a pedophile. I think he would have just got anyone that was there, right? <laughs> like he'd try to hack he anyone's. Yeah, yeah, was it, when, he, when he hacks the, <laughs> when he hacks I, I, the camera, not, I doubt he would have known who was going to be on the other end of it. Yeah. Yeah, but if I was hacking a camera and I saw a bunch of kids... Oh, I you're right. Yeah, I would have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was yeah, a hacker. Like he probably could have hacked a lot of cameras, I'm assuming, and just landed on these. Especially because if it's... um. So this, there's a company called Ring, and they they just to say now they they've like done, doing a lot of work and partnered with like 400 police forces across America to try and like get over this issue so it can't happen again and find out who these people are. Yeah. But um, they basically their equipment have been like known now for not being great, like at preventing hackers jumping into it. So someone like this guy could probably potentially just jump through lots of different camera systems until they find the suspect they're looking for you know oh, the victim they're looking for. okay so he might be and, a pedophile and not, and not just that like can you record footage of people like you might get people doing intimate things and recording them and putting yeah 100 percent, you can record it 100 percent. yeah this so guy is that. creepy as hell as all as awful horrible and there's one here it says um this other guy mr orange that's his name um his children Reservoir dogs his children Cluedo? were playing basketball and then Wasn't he the mr pink and then it says a voice came on through the camera's two-way speaker and started engaging with the children, commenting on their basketball play and encouraging them to get closer to the camera. Oh my gosh! Creepy. Uh, what? I'm curious because I can I can think definitely think of use cases for it. But is there a need to have microphones in your cameras anyway? To be able to, I'm not obviously the hacking into and seeing is one obstacle, but can you eliminate one yeah. of the obstacles just by removing? The communication aspect. Yeah, why do you have? To, yeah, true. Oh, that's because the ring is like so. When you press a doorbell, oh, you can say who's there. You can say I'm DHL, whatever. I've left the yeah. Package though I, I can, but that's outside your house. We're talking about one that's in someone's Inside. bedroom. Inside. Oh. Like, what do you need that for? Like that that video. Like that, that's a kid's bedroom, right? Yeah. Like, why do you need to talk to your kid in their bedroom? They probably. They, it's probably just a feature that is just on there, but yeah. that is bizarre. Um, another one here says a hacker threatened a couple and demanded a ransom of 350000 in Bitcoin. I wonder, wonder what he had on them. We all know what he had <laughs> on them. You can, because you can, you can record me, but there's not much you can hold me to ransom for. Sa- like. Yeah, but no, but safety <laughs> is, is a huge factor. Like now that guy knows that those children are home, he can probably access all the other cameras, know the, the parents aren't there. You just unhook it. Finds where they live because he can hack their thing. He probably knows where De- they live. De- Dev just, just, just ruined that. And the whole, then he can just, just, just rock up it. like that. Right. It's not the issue. So well, I just, I've been saying it for years. I don't want microphones in my house. I don't want cameras in my house. And to a guy that's yeah. talking hey, on Siege, a Skype hey, Siege, call. Do you see that big thing in front of your face? <laughs> <laughs> see that massive thing right in front of your lips right microphone now? Microphone and a camera. That's he not a penis. That's, that's, a, that's a microphone, <laughs> just to let you know. I have, a, I have a cover for this that covers the camera. So if someone hacks in, they're seeing just black. Well, right now they can see you, but I guess it doesn't matter too much because yeah. it's this a specific voluntary. time. 
<laughs> it's true. It's scary. But like the, have you seen that? Um, the the smart kettles and stuff that apparently was it Russia were using to basically put a smart kettle in all homes in America. This was maybe a bit of a hoax story. I'm not sure, but they had like microphones. You say, hey, like, what make me tea to the kettle, and it would just turn on and make tea. But then they was found like when they investigated something, they found it was recording like a lot more often than it should have been recording. They were just recording conversations and it was actually being stored, whereas normally they have to record little bits, but then just drop drop it as memory immediately. Do you know what I mean? Like in oh, case you shit. said the words that you need to be said. And it was a Russian company that ran this. And then it was like a big scandal. Like you shouldn't buy these kettles because... What? Oh my they're gosh. They're not following the rules. That's why like Google Home, I'm like, that's why we I, have Google Home. But I disconnected it in the room, and you're like, "We bought it. We got to use it." I'm like, eh, "I don't need it." Like, if I need I'll to never, turn, if I need yeah, to turn Spotify that. on, I'll just click it. <laughs> I'll click on the website. Yeah. <laughs> <Do that. laughs> but I, like, I don't know when doing this became so hard. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, like, once you have a mm. mobile phone, yeah. you're very susceptible to all of this anyway. Yes. Like it, it, uh, it's different because it's only like this one thing if you trust one thing only trust your mobile and nothing else because obviously the more things there are the more likely they can be hacked but as soon as you have your mobile I'm pretty sure now if the government wanted to listen to you they can listen to you most of the day because most of the time you have your mobile in your pocket Yeah, and even if you don't have I your don't mobile have someone you're around has their mobile <laughs> yeah yeah and then they just have to figure out that you're next to them I guess but well they, they so would if, know if I have a dark I get rid of the mobile and all the electronics yeah. Basically, I say yeah. Gen- generally, I feel like if you gave the government like a ultimatum, they could probably guess where every citizen is at any point during the day and within some degree of accuracy yeah. because of the data they have the, access the, to. I don't think they could. At the moment, it's a little quickly. bit easier because everyone's home. Of course, your phone <laughs> knows where you are most of the time. Your phone yeah. suggests yeah. where to go before you even think about going there, True, knowing that you're going like, to go I there. Don't, like, that's yeah. how, I'm not sure if the government today have a system like that linked the system enough to be able to be like just give me a name let me put it in the system that's where he is now i you think it would take you a wouldn't lot need, you wouldn't need a link system you just need to use the telephone companies yeah that's what i'm saying so like uh oh yeah with a telephone company they could probably predict where your phone is pretty quickly yeah hmm. which I generally is I mean, where you, you are if you yeah, yeah for sure like if you tried it but if you try to go dark I oh, if you, you yeah, if you were trying, I just I just meant in general, like oh, right, no yeah, yeah. no one at any point is well. There's for a, most part, you're not fooling people about where you are. Most people they'll know where you are. There's an app. There's an app in Norway which is going around. It's called Smitter, which translates to like uh uh. Wait, what's a, is there a word for like passing on diseases? Like can I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Pa- passing it just means like you're spreading the disease. Like, yeah. Um, oh, like that, a, that's the name of the app anyway. Yeah, and basically what it does, you're Contact allowed to tracing. download the app. Con- uh, you can download the app voluntarily, and what the app does is just basically tracks your movement, and then it also tracks every time you go near somebody else oh, who also has that. the app. And what that means is, if one person has corona, they basically tell the app they've got corona, and then it informs every single person that walked past them that they had corona. So now you might have corona. Yeah, yeah, we they have they, that too. they rolled these cool. out. I think Australia was the first place to roll yeah. one of these kind of things out more uh, for the masses. But they said like yeah. one of the biggest yeah. things is will people it only works if enough they people want to get it. ten million, isn't it? Yeah. They want to get ten million. I've I think, got it. I think COVID. over I haven't. <laughs> that kind of thing. I, I See, didn't that get kind it. of thing. And also people said it uses so much Bluetooth and battery yeah. that it, a lot of people just deleted it because it was just too heavy on their phones. I say that yeah, kind of so. thing would only really work as well it like it kind of doesn't work just because you don't know. <laughs> it only works if everyone knows 100% whether they got it or yes. not. Yes. Yeah. I thought the same. Mm. Actually, ours picked up the first case uh, last week, I think. What happened? The first case using the app was like picked up. Yeah. Really? Then week. everyone was notified at walk past that person who also had the app? I believe so. Cool. Do How many remember, people were notified? Remember that, that, black, interesting to remember that black Mirror sure. episode when... Um, when you have like the the thing in the vision, you can block people, and then like you wouldn't see them. Yeah. Like it, it's it, it, almost getting close. Like it's almost like that. Like oh, no, he no, had to he had to cut it out of his neck. <laughs> he had to cut it out of his neck so he wouldn't see. No, uh, this wait, is, this um, is no, no, not in Australia. The, the one, 
The one where people... One minute warning. Where they block them. So like, warning. when I think it was the couple or something. It was a while ago. I since I watched it. But the couple or something, they were fighting. And then like, you block them and then they go like, to the fuzzy or whatever it is. So you just don't, you can't like hear this? them. And you can still see that there's a human there, but you, you don't oh. see the person. And then the oh. person, I remember the person at the end gets blocked by everyone. Like they they committed a crime or something. So they get blocked by everyone. So then they're, they're in and amongst everyone, but they're isolated because they can't communicate with anyone. Oh, oh. no, I didn't see no, that I didn't one. See that one. That's oh, weird. Sorry. <laughs> doesn't that go against, doesn't that go against keeping your friends close, all. but your enemies closer though? That yeah. does go against that. Yeah. Um, Hey, are you? Am I the only one? Look, I um I get highlights from Google Maps every month about where I've been. Mm-hmm. Does anyone else get that? Oh, no, I don't get that. <laughs> I, my phone tells me like b- the B side words suggested location, and then it says the park next to my house all the time because I'm, <laughs> I'm guessing it. it looks at my phone. And it says you always seem to be there when this happens. So why don't you go walk over to the park? And I'm like, all right, that's why I'm late all the time. I'm like, ah, it's not here again. <laughs> No, I just get the usual like um, your. We've noted down where your car is parked, or because of my calendar, it's what? like you have such and such coming up. Here's the best, like here's the directions for it, or whatever. Mm. Like it tells you where your car is parked. Yeah, it says uh, we've uh, Google's noted where your car is parked. Yeah, mm, I, yeah. I don't get in the, in a friendly way. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, Emma, <laughs> I know where your car is parked. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> If anybody ah. else told you that apart from Google, like if a man on the street said, oh, I've noted where your car's parked, just being a good, uh, friendly citizen, you'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I so you- 